Exelon generation facilities run at world-class levels of safety and operational excellence, thanks in part to our highly skilled, diverse, and engaged workforce. Leadership development starts on day one at Exelon and continues as our employees learn all aspects of the business. Throughout the year, generation executives play a key role in engaging our emerging leaders in both formal and informal settings. Here's a quick look at an innovative development session called Speed Networking, where developing leaders socialize after hours with generation executives and get personal insights on the best way to adapt, learn, and grow in a dynamic and innovative environment. I started, I'm a little embarrassed to say this, but 35 years ago in June. Can you believe that? And I will tell you, I remember my first day like it was yesterday. And uh, it's a great company. And obviously I stayed here a long time because it is a great company and primarily is because of people like you. Uh, it's the people that I get to work with. I had a couple opportunities to leave and I, I couldn't do it because I could not leave uh, the professionalism, the talent uh, of people like you. So thank you for participating. I got three objectives. Number one, you have fun. Number two, try to meet somebody you don't know. And then last but not least, Try to learn something. Uh, I'm a lifelong learner. Learn something about yourself. Learn something about a colleague. Learn something about the company that you don't know. And then finally, I'm gonna throw in a fourth. Don't leave it all here tonight. We will have 10 minutes at each table before we rotate to the next table. All of our executives are prepared to answer just about any question you have about their career path, about working here at Exelon, or just their, their journey and their career so far. So feel free to be creative. Throughout my career, I have always viewed my job as the single best job in the world. And so I took advantage of the current job I was in. I did it with a lot of enthusiasm. I did it with a lot of passion, um, a lot of energy, and other jobs found me. I think there's there's places where we when you get good um, transition planning or good training is when you get champions at the site that are willing to really drive that. And so whenever we do those big implementations, we have subject matter experts or you know the go-to guys at the site, and those are the successful ones. And I would recommend also that you look across the sites for those other people that have that that you know expertise, so that you guys can build up some kind of a peer group or a peer team that would be able to to continue to drive that. I went to the abstract role without ever having having been an SRO and now actually having been an EO or any, any position in operations, so it was a dramatic shift for me. But um, I had great people underneath me that supported me, which um, I learned at the time, how am I going to get through this? And I got through it by having great, great people underneath me and I let them do their jobs and I did my job and I helped develop them. And um, I'm proud to say that uh, of those people that worked for me, five of them went on to be plant managers and site VPs.